Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Bridget Bennett. And I'm Tim Seaman. Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts visiting the Santee Sioux Tribe today, touring flood damage there on the reservation. KCAU 9's Jessica Watson was at that meeting today and has more on how the tribe is working to recover from the historic flooding. It's tonight's top story. More than 350 people, the entire community of Santee, were without power or drinking water for nearly two weeks. Nebraska strong. You know, and to our people, the ones they were fighting strong. Awesome. And what we did here was just bring people in so they could sleep. Many displaced people have been staying at the Ojai Casino in Santee Sioux Nation, which was closed for regular business until this week. Even now, the hotel is not accepting reservations. Water in Santee was finally cleared for drinking use Monday, but getting to Santee is still difficult as Highway 12 heading to Niobrara remains closed. It's going to be a long road to recovery. One of the messages we want to deliver is that we will do this together. We will get through this by sticking together and really working with the tribes to be able to make sure that they're part of the overall recovery for the state. Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts and many other state officials met at the casino Tuesday at the request of the tribes. We like to try to do things ourselves, help ourselves, but at times, you know, we all need, we all need help. And I guess that's why we've asked you, Governor, to come today. Last Thursday, President Trump approved Nebraska's disaster declaration aimed at helping the state rebuild after flood damages. One of the state's top priorities is to restore travel on Highway 12. Governor Ricketts saying they hope to have it open in the next two weeks with plans for more repairs in the works. Reporting in Santee, Nebraska, Jessica Watson, KCAU 9 News. And today, state officials are talking about the types of grants and loans that are available to homeowners in the area. Throughout Nebraska, state officials will be opening disaster resource centers to help folks impacted by those floodwaters, those resources needed as they continue to recover.